and sharing stories and seeing our long lost friends, but we've got to just take a few minutes here to recognize some folks. We do have just a brief uh, series of awards. We want to recognize some people. And first of all, I want to recognize the president of the Your Alumni Association, the class of 72, Craig Squad. gathering with the homecoming and reunion also includes um, a little bit of soul searching actually prior to our gathering this evening where board members discuss um, past alum and community members in our community and um, you know what individuals stand out in terms of um, the recognition that they deserve and for um, providing for the community and being a success in their career and in their family lives and so uh, it gives me great honor uh, to do an introduction for our distinguished alumni of 2019. And uh, this year's uh, distinguished alumni award is going to be going to Joy uh, Maidening Roberts Van Leuven, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. <coughs> Joy is a Clinton Community College graduate from the class of 1986. Joy was born in the Plattsburgh area and, and raised in uh, raised in Moores. She currently resides in Moores with her husband and what was her high school sweetheart and still is, Barton. <laughs> Joy and Barton have two daughters, Jenna with her husband Matthew and Jessica with her husband Bryce. Combined, they have five grandchildren, Carson, who is five, Madison, who is also five, Joel, three years old, Hayden, three years old, and uh, a young one, a young whippersnapper, Mackenzie, at three months old. Joy attended Northeast Clinton Central School, graduating from her high school class in 1984. She then went on to attend Clinton Community College in the fall of 1984, graduating with the class of 1986 with an associate's degree in Applied Science and Business Administration. From there, Joy went on to join her father's family-owned business, Riley Ford, located in Shazy, New York. During Joy's 33-year career at Riley Ford, she has held positions of salesperson, working her way up the ladder, but working it very hard. Salesperson, sales manager, general manager, and now currently presides over the operation as president and dealer principal of that dealership business. Under Joy's management, Riley Ford's family-owned dealership has been awarded the 300-500 Master's Sales Award from Ford Motor Company. In addition, Riley Ford has been awarded Ford Motor Company's top award for customer service, which, no which she notes that less than 10% of all Ford or Lincoln dealerships uh, nationwide um, are able to receive that distinction. Riley Ford is uh, currently um, <clears throat> the New York State Certified Women-Owned business and is the first automobile dealership in New York to earn this dubious distinction. There is also <laughs> she and her staff take great pride in that and I know her mother does too. Uh, and Joy's mother is also here with us too. I'm sorry, I forgot to acknowledge that. Good evening, Ms. Herman. Joy is actively involved in our community and region and currently serves as treasurer for the New England Ford Dealers Association. She is also a current member of the CVPH Medical Center Advisory Board and is a current member on Champlain Family Health Patient Advisory Board. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may introduce to you uh, the 2019 Distinguished Alumni Recipient, Joy Van Luther. Thank you. 
and my partner in crime, uh, Paul Wood. <laughs> Tommy Munn, he was actually the year behind uh, us, but he's 39. <laughs> so I want to just, for those of you who don't know uh, Agnes Pearl, um, I get choked up just thinking about her and her stewardship um, throughout uh, a very grueling, and we know this, right? Grueling two year. If we were the first class that was the associate's degree nursing program. So they, I think, had to be especially tough on us because we, we had to be the shining, you know, we had to be the good example for all the other classes that followed after us. So it was a really tough two years. And, but I will tell you that the teachers that we had, as tough as they were, were also so supportive that we felt like we were taken care of. And by us using them as role models, we learned to take care of other people. And that's the truth, and we all know that. So, so without further ado... Um, well, let me do a little intro here. First of all, I'm looking around the room. Can I have all the nurses in this room, please stand, whether you went to Clinton or not. We have a lot of nurses here tonight. Have a round of applause. One of my uh, alumni board members, Emily Zertis. Emily, please stand. <laughs> two years ago, uh, we looked around the room with Emily. There's only two nurses here. You and Sue Trombley. Sue, please stand. Are both on the alumni board of directors. So I challenged Emily. I said, Emily, we have got to get more nurses here because nurses love a good party. <laughs> so I think she's done a good job. So before we leave tonight, make sure we're going to do a group photograph, several. We're going to do a photograph of everybody from the class of 79. Because we have Sylvia Manor, we have Pat Garrow. Uh, anybody else who graduated 79, then we're going to do a group photograph of just the alumni, nursing alums from 79. We're going to do all the group photo of alums, so don't take off too fast. Um, if I may ask Dr. Agnes Pearl, would you please join me up here, Agnes, at the podium? <laughs> <laughs> this face, this face, I've seen. <laughs> so I ask Agnes for many years. The one thing I've learned about Agnes, she hates surprises. <laughs> so for the record, this is my third official surprise for Agnes. And every time I do it, I get the evil eye. <laughs> Can I share the first? No, okay, sure. It's the first one, no, go away, quickly. Uh, when I was here, I don't know, this is the time clock. When I was here back in the early 90s, Agnes chaired the strategic planning uh, committee. And we always met in her office on the fifth floor. And Agnes, as you know, is very, very thorough. Right, nurses? Yes. She had this little stop, little cook clock on her desk, and she would set to exactly 59 minutes. So if you're in a meeting with Agnes, you never went over, but you never got out early. <laughs> so one day I arrived early, and Agnes was busy at her desk. I took the clock, and I set it ahead 20 minutes. <laughs> she didn't know it. She didn't notice. So the meeting, the thing, the, the bell went off. Everybody jumped up and made a beeline for the door because it's strategic planning after all. And it's like, my God, that time flew by here <laughs> So being a good Catholic boy with three uncles who are a priest and a nephew who's a priest, I said, Agnes, I have to confess. What'd you do? I said, I set your clock ahead 20 minutes. I got like the five minute evil eye. It seemed like five minutes. He said, very funny, don't do it again. <laughs> So let's fast forward a few years. Um, with the help of Paul Wood and some of the nurses, we surprised Agnes again by creating the Agnes Pearl Endowed Nursing Scholarship. We've had to this day. So we called Agnes up on stage. We unveiled uh, a, a, um, a poster we had made announcing the scholarship. I'm pleased to say, Agnes, we give money out every single year from that scholarship. There's something else that's hidden up here. Oh. 
Somebody help me with the unveiling, Paul. Sharon, why don't you come up here? So, I, I'm glad you're nurses, because if I get hit and go down, I got nurses in the room. Come on, you guys, you're a part of this. So, Agnes, we do have another, we love surprising you. Yes, we do. So, why don't you scoot up, scoot up here just a little bit, and Paul and Sharon are going to unveil something we've done for Agnes. We have planted a tree in front of the Alumni Association in honor of Agnes. And the plaque reads, I actually have the plaque in front of me, but it says, in honor of Dr. Agnes Pearl, Director of Nursing and Allied Health, Clinton Community College, 1977 to 1999, dedicated by the first nursing class of 1979. So. particularly at times like when we moved out of the School of Nursing uh, in, at CVPH, we had to move everything. And uh, unfortunately, our cats that were embalmed for the science, <laughs> we used to teach anatomy and physiology, ended up in a room, a very hot summer room. <laughs> and we got there in September, and one of my first visitors was a man from housekeeping who wanted to tell me how I had screwed things up royally. <laughs> and my response was, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wonderful, wonderful nursing program, wonderful, wonderful college, wonderful, wonderful people, especially Fred. Thank you. Before I ask uh, President Dee Pascal to come up, I want to recognize our current director of nursing, Tina Egan. Tina, stand up and a round of applause. Don is also a teaching faculty, so Don, she's on the staff here. Without further ado, I'm going to invite up President Ray Dee Pascal to say a few words. Thank you, Steve, and good evening, everyone. <laughs> the, uh, you know, when you
you think about alum and you think about our college, it's, it's pretty significant. Our nursing department continues to be recognized across the state of New York and in fact the nation for being one of the very, very best. When our students graduate, they have a placement record and a passing of a licensing exam that is second to none. You as the first class should stand proud because you set the foundation for what today, as you said, all of our nurses have to follow. It is significant. When you see nurses come into the school, not just with all of our students, but the nurses, and I just went to their orientation recently, and you see these freshmen coming in filled with energy and excitement to be part of the best nursing program in all of New York State. Congratulations to our first class, congratulations to my nursing department, and to all of you, thank you for setting a great foundation and a great trend for all of our nurses to follow. Thank you. Alum, back to your college, your college. And tonight we have two board of trustees here, Mark Letta. Mark, as always, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for coming. I'll just ask any members of our staff that are here just to stand and say hello. Stand, stand. <laughs> because John Borner is our Dean of Students, Mary is our Controller and Chief Fiscal Officer, Rick is our IT Director who's been here 30, 32, and will be retiring next year for 32 years of stellar, and I mean stellar, uh, experience. I don't know what I'll do without you, Rick, but uh, I know you won't be here next year, so congratulations. <laughs> Evening, just prior to coming over here, we dedicated our learning comments. For those of you that have not seen it, you need to see it. It is magnificent. It gives our students the most special place to study and be part of something that they never had. Uh, we have a few donors that came over with us, but two in particular that actually chaired the alumni campaign, or both alumni of our school, who contributed more than $200,000 to the project. Wayne and Sylvie Manor, all the way up here from Texas. Just today. Paquette, I know many of you know her. Uh, we dedicated our archives room uh, to her this evening. And uh, for all your help and support, thank you for being here. So just to give you just a little bit, I don't want to bore you to death, but, but I want to tell you just a little bit about your college. Um, you know that a year ago we opened the new Advanced Manufacturing Building, a $12.7 million project that today is called the gold standard of manufacturing buildings in the United States. Not just here, across the United States, sitting here on your campus, Clinton Community College. $12.7 million building. Today, training's going on with uh, uh, Novabus, Bombardier, uh, companies that are all local, hopefully keeping their employees here, bringing new employees to the area. It is a state-of-the-art manufacturing center. We have now, thanks to Steve and many others, uh, have a mobile classroom that goes out across the state. So we've been in I think there was this year, um, in addition to the celebration of everything, so. and, uh, and along that it was a donation from the Moore family of $65,000 for a new truck that we could bring around. It was a Chevy. <laughs> I said that low. I said it really low. Um, but um, Rolla Parker was uh, very generous in giving us a, a, a very big donation on the, on the part of buying that truck. But, but that tells you we're out in every school district, we're moving our programs out to everyone. So move from the $12.7 million building to the $4.8 million learning commons. Go see it. And no words can describe what a magnificent facility it is. And then finally, what we're doing to the hotel is a $10.8 million project that started on Monday. 
and we're taking all the old stucco off. And if you get up close, you'll say, thank God, because it's falling off, it's rusted, it's old, and it's decrepit. All the railings are coming off. 454 windows are being replaced, 22 doors. And this project will take us into 2021. But when it's done, this campus will have seen over the last three years, 28 million dollars worth of renovations to your community. <laughs> so I can't tell you how proud we are that it's coming back and you've heard that over and over again. Uh, we have lots of hurdles in front of us and lots of things that we need to do. One is getting enrollment up. You hear about college enrollments across the country. Community colleges in New York are down 18% in enrollment. Clinton is no exception to that. We're struggling with enrollments. We need your help. When you see students, tell them about your experience. I want to use your speech over and over again. You know, it was a great experience. Whenever I hear any of the alum, you're here to talk about what a wonderful experience it was. Share that with prospective students. Ray, I got one tonight. Cool. Rob, I have your nephew right here. Are you coming? Yes. We You're coming. You're coming. We will roll off the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. I have a seat within a tech book. Right you got it. <laughs> so, we do need your help and support. Now, one more significant thing I want to share with you is that you know that a third of our funding comes from the state of New York and they only give us about 22%. So make sure you tell your legislators, Clinton needs help, because we do. And then 33% is supposed to come from the county, they give us 36%, and then the rest comes from students and tuition. That's now 38%, which means we've shifted the burden <clears throat> on students. We raised tuition 9% this year. Nothing I'm proud of. But in order to continue to keep us at a certain level, you have to do that. But here's something significant. Last week, we went before the county legislators, and that's where we get a third of our budget. They voted unanimously to give us the largest increase in the history of the legislative body in this college. They gave us an increase, and this is what happens when they give you money. Every time they give you a new amount, they never can take that money back. So when they commit to a certain amount, you have that forever. So when I tell you they're making a huge commitment, they are. They gave us a 10% increase over last year, which was $295,000 added to our budget. I share that one piece of information because I want you to know what I see and feel every day, is that when I go out into the community, this community puts their arms around this college. They support us, they love us, and like you, you're very proud of the school. Like me, I'm very proud to be your president. It is wonderful to go out there and say, I'm the president of Clinton Community College. You should see the alums who get excited to meet you. I'm your face out there, and it, it is wonderful to be able to represent you and do what we're doing. We'll have about 1,300 to 1,400 students attend this year. Um, the numbers are good, but where they're not good is what they call on the credits, and that's where we get hurt. Today, 60%, and this is a real trend going around the nation, as the economy is so good, 60% of our students are part-time, meaning they have a job taking maybe one course. It's all good stuff, but at the end of the day, it doesn't pay the bills. So the challenges are many, and the good news is at 3.8% unemployment in this county, the county is thriving. So we're working with businesses, we're working with companies, we're helping our students achieve their dreams every day, and the college continues to thrive. So I really want to tell you, as alum of this college, I hope that you this evening can look up at these walls, see your former professors and staff. These are your Chancellor Award winners and go back, you're gonna see lots of memories because they're all there. I wanna thank a former president of this college who served so well and started many, many things that we followed. And to each and every one of you for coming and supporting this college in the way that you do. It is, makes a difference in the lives of students. Remember what community colleges and Clinton is all about. We're here to do one simple thing 
help our students achieve, be what they want, do what they want. Our goal was pretty simple. Come to Clinton, we will help you achieve your dream. Did we help you do that? Did we help you alone achieve your dream? Did we help change your life? On behalf of your president and all that work at this college and all the students who've gone through these, these wonderful buildings, I want to congratulate you for representing us, tell you how proud we are to call you alum, to stand here and say, wow, look at the alum of this college, look how successful you've been, and tell you how very proud we are of you, congratulate you, and always know that this is your home. You are always welcome here. Congratulations to each and every one of you. We love you on behalf of the college, and thank you for choosing Clinton Community College and being a proud alum of this institution. Have a great evening. Thank you. Our last official duty before we take some group photos is I'd like to have all my alumni board members to please stand and be recognized. They helped put this event on. All the alumni board members, please stand and be recognized. This is the first year we didn't have our own um, campus food service. So the tablecloths, the decorations, they did it themselves. I mean, we had a wonderful uh, caterer come in, but the decorating, I want to uh, also recognize um, a very humble and sweet person, Anita Squire, would you please stand? Anita is Frank's wife, and she made all this. <laughs> Besco and our friends uh, from Oval Brewing. Jesse Jolliker is an alum, by the way. Jesse. <laughs> you see his uh, face in our TV commercials all the time. And I would be remiss if I did not ask to have recognized tonight one of the original members of the faculty of this college who was hired in 1969, who just retired. One of my favorites, Professor Mike Hallinger, is here tonight. So Mike, Mike has uh, been a granted emeritus status, and he has decided to move into the alumni cottage with me. So Mike has his own office now, and he promised he's going to write a book about his experience of uh, working at a college that literally started from scratch. So I think you and Agnes ought to get together. So uh, before you leave tonight, we're going to take a bunch of photos. Uh, Deb, my, my wife, Deb would be the campus photographer here. So we're going to get all the alums. We want to get all the nurses. We want to get the class of 79, so good luck. Uh, anything else, Craig? God, there's no need to rush off. Please enjoy the music, enjoy your friends, and uh, we'll, we'll close up at midnight. So thank you, everybody.